Dear God, our loving Father, as we gather this beautiful morning to celebrate the birthday of the father of the nation called Bapuji or Gandhiji, we are grateful for his freedom that we enjoy gained through his sacrifices and struggles. We also thank you for your abundant love, mercies and guidance. We pray for our esteemed institution, our chairman Bishop N. L. Karkare, Mrs. Kamal Karkare and the school board, our manager Reverend Sebastian Ravi Kumar, our principal Mrs. Lena Daniel, our chaplain Reverend John Wesley and our teachers, that they will be inspired leaders like Gandhiji and inspired and lead our students just like Gandhiji inspired our nation in its freedom struggle. We pray for all our beloved students that they will always strive to emulate Gandhiji, his love for the nation, his integrity, his honesty, his dedication and his hard work. All of this we pray in the name of our precious Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. This scripture reading is taken from Matthew chapter 5 verses 5 to 9. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. May God add his blessings to the reading and hearing of his words. Enel Karkare, Madam Kamal Karkare, Vice Chairman, DS Manager, Reverend Sebastian Ravi Kumar, our Chaplain, Reverend John Wesley, our staff, teaching, non-teaching, our dear students and myself, wish each one of you a very happy 153rd Gandhi Jayanti. October 2nd, every year is observed as Gandhi Jayanti to mark the birth anniversary of prominent freedom fighter Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, popularly known as Mahatma Gandhi. Known as father of nation, it was Mahatma Gandhi who gave the principle of non-violence, which was the basis of freedom struggle. It was him and his values and ideologies that pioneered India's struggle to achieve the independence. This year will mark the 153rd birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and will be observed by entire world as Gandhi Jayanti and by United Nations as International Day of Non-Violence. It is marked as national holiday to remember one of the greatest freedom fighters of India. Gandhi Jayanti is observed to pay respect and tribute to the legendary freedom fighter who gave his all to help the country and countrymen gain and taste freedom. He inspired everyone to come forward and raise their voices against atrocities happening with them. He was the firm opposer of injustice of all kinds and a firm supporter of ahimsa, simplicity and importance of truth in one's life and propagated the same during his entire life. On Gandhi Jayanti, people remember their pathfinder, his principles and paid the respect to him. 
Lots of activities are organized to throw light on his life and to inspire the upcoming generation to follow his ideals. Several initiatives for the development of country, society and people are taken on this day as a way of following his teachings. Many eminent world leaders and personalities including Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King Jr., Dalai Lama, John Lennon and Albert Einstein considered Gandhi as their ideal. It was not only freedom from the British that Gandhiji wanted for a free India, but it was also freedom from its own internal conflicts, social issues and taboos. His efforts to liberate the society and his people was quite relevant and modern at that point of time in history. And his dream of an India free of casteism, religious-based differences and gender inequalities paved the way for the modern India of the 21st century. Together, let us all be the pathfinders like what Gandhiji wanted us to be. Let us also follow his principles, not just for today, but the days to come, to make this nation of ours a great nation. Thank you. आज हम आपको सुनाएंगे बापू की कुछ खास बातें अहिंसा का पुजारी सत्य की राह दिखाने वाला ईमान का पाठ पढ़ा गया हमें वह बापू लाठी वाला ईमान का पाठ पढ़ा गया हमें वह बापू लाठी वाला दिया जलाना है तो अंधेरे में जलाए उजालों में क्या रखा है अपने मन को दयालु बनाए क्रूरता में क्या रखा है अपने मन को दयालु बनाए क्रूरता में क्या रखा है सीधा सादा वेशता ना कोई अभिमान कादी की एक धोती पहने बापू की ती शान कादी की एक धोती पहने बापू की ती शान धोती वाले बापू की ऐसी एक लड़ाई थी ना गोली बरसाए उन्होंने ना बंदूक चलाई थी सत्य अहिंसा के बल पर ही दुश्मन को धूल चटाई थी सत्य अहिंसा के बल पर ही दुश्मन को धूल चटाई थी गांधी जयंती पर पूरी दुनिया को हमें यही कहना है जिंदगी का हर जंग सत्य और अहिंसा से जीतना है जिंदगी का हर जंग सत्य और अहिंसा से जीतना है आप सभी को गांधी जयंती की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन Mahatma Gandhi is also known as Bapu or Rashtrapita and the father of nation. The ideals of Mahatma Gandhi were non-violence and truth. 
He not only contributed to India's freedom struggle, but also inspired many people across the world to raise their voice against the discrimination of caste, color, religion. Let's listen to some interesting facts about Mahatma Gandhiji. Gandhiji was born as Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in Porbandar, Gujarat. He was the youngest child of his parents. He had two brothers and one sister. He did his schooling at Alfred High School. His birthday, 2nd October, is celebrated worldwide as International Day of Nonviolence. Mahatma Gandhi was nominated five times for the Nobel Peace Prize in 1937, 1938, 1939, 1947 and 1948. In 1930, he was the Time Magazine's Man of the Year. He was also a great writer and the collected work of Mahatma Gandhi have 50,000 pages. The country against whom he fought for India's independence Great Britain released a stamp honoring him 21 years after his death. In 1930, he led the Dandi Salt March and in 1942, he launched the Quit India Movement during the freedom struggles. The life of Gandhi was made into a movie Gandhi in 1982, which won the Academy Award Oscar for the Best Motion Picture. Gandhiji was not born with the title Mahatma, but he was given the title by the Nobel Prize winning Bengali poet Rabindranath Tagore. Reserve Bank of India issued the Gandhi series banknotes carrying a portrait of Mahatma Gandhi in 1996 of 10 and 500 rupee denominations. In 1959, the Gandhi Memorial Museum was established in the city of Madurai in Tamil Nadu, India. It is also known as the Gandhi Museum.
is with great pride and honor that I am a Jewel want to say a few words about the father of our nation Mohandas Karimchand Gandhi Mohandas Karimchand Gandhi was born on October 2nd 1869 at Porbandar Gujarat He was the son of the Diwan of Porbandar Karimchand Gandhi and his mother was Putibai At the age of 19 Gandhi ji left his home to study law in London Time passed and he went to South Africa to represent an Indian firm with his wife Kasturba and his children he stayed in South Africa for almost 20 years and later returned to India in 1915 to get its independence Gandhi Jayanti celebrated in remember Gandhi's principle of peace and non-violence and to educate and inspire the present generations the contribution made by gandhi ji to make india an independent country he has gone through a long struggle so that the people of india can breathe in an independent nation he was a devotee of truth and non-violence satya and ahimsa ka puja in his honor the un general assembly has announced this day as the international day of non violence on 15 june 2007 on this day let us pledge ourselves to follow the path of the legacy he left behind and lead our lives in peace and harmony wishing you all a happy and peaceful gandhi day thank you गौरव की ताकत बांधी थी गांधी के रूप में आंधी थी बड़े दिलदार फकीर थे वो पत्थर के अमिट लकीर थे वो पहनते थे धोती खादी रखते थे इरादे फौलादी उच्च विचार और जीवन साधा उनको प्रिय थे सबसे ज्यादा संघर्ष अगर तो हिंसा क्यों खून का प्यासा इंसा क्यों हर चीज का सही तरीका है जो बापू से हमने सीखा है क्रांति जिसने लादी थी सोच वो गांधीवादी थी उन्होंने कहा करो अत्याचार थक जाओगे आखिरकार जुल्मों को सहते जाएंगे पर हम ना हाथ उठाएंगे एक दिन आएगा वो अफसर जब बांधोगे अपने बिस्तर आगे चल के ऐसा ही हुआ गांधी नारों ने उनको छुआ आगे फिरंग की बर्बाद थी और पीछे उनकी समाधि थी गौरव की ताकत बांधी थी गांधी के रूप में आंधी थी
They say the brightest of the diamonds are those which go through more pressure and heat. India has gone through a prolonged period of suffering and dependence and has outshone the world with its self-sufficiency in every aspect. India's struggle for independence is written in the pages of history by the sweat blood and sacrifice of millions of Indians who took up the Swadeshi and the non-cooperation movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. The spinning wheel or the charka became not only a symbol of the revolution but it is now a symbol with the power of self-reliance and determination. From then to now the charka has initiated and marked the path of progress for the Indian spinning industry. The wheel that spun history. The spinning wheel has significance from the ancient times. The woman of the household used to spin cloth as a part of their daily activity. During the rule of the East India Company, the British used to ship the raw cotton from India to England and the finished material would have come back to India to be sold at huge price, thus causing Indian farmers to suffer huge loss and poverty. Mahatma Gandhi initiated the Swadeshi movement by taking up the charka and encouraging the Indians to spin their own cloth. The cloth woven from the spinning wheel is known as kadi, meaning coarse cloth. The charka became a symbol of self-sufficiency and freedom, so much so that the first Indian flag designed had the charka aged in the middle which later replaced by the Ashoka Chakra. This marked the beginning of the Indian spinning industry which has evolved through the years to reach the economic zenith that it has now achieved. From then to now, the Swadeshi movement increased the demand for Indian cotton textile. The Indian textile industry grew by leaps and bounds. Indigenous industries began to spring up and lay their stronghold in the global industry. Now the country is the world's second largest textile manufacturers. The textile industry has since then gone through a profound change taking the path of progress initiated by Gandhi. Newer and newer state-of-the-art technologies have been introduced. Structures and applications taken by the industry has shaped a bright and long-lasting future. For the Indian spinning industry, the history of Indian spinning has come a long way since the chakra but it still remains as a mark of faith, self-sufficiency and sacrifice in the heart of every Indian.